Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today we're going to be taking a look at the High Peak Bona e-bike. I've had this thing for about three weeks now and I've rode it quite a bit and uh, I'm really enjoying it. Now this bike is a little bit different than other bikes that I have reviewed. This one here is a folding e-bike. So that allows you to pack it in a car or a small SUV quite easily. And for me it's perfect because if you're a regular to my channel you know I'm on a summer long road trip. And I can actually bring an e-bike with me now. This thing will fit in the back of my car with all my other gear. And not only that, if you're a person who lives in a small apartment, a folding e-bike might be a good choice for you as well. Because you can fold it up and stick it in the bottom of a closet out of the way. So let's go ahead here and we'll take a look at some of the specs and we'll do a little bit of riding. Now, as mentioned, this is a folding e-bike and we're going to take a closer look at that here in a minute. Now, just some basic specs of this bike. It has a 48 volt battery, as you can see there. It does have a lock on it, so it is removable. In fact, sometimes, you know, when you're loading it into a car, you may want to take the battery off as that will make it a little bit lighter. The bike comes in at about 62 pounds, so it's not overly heavy, but it's not super light either. In the back here, we have a 750 watt motor and it's equipped with mechanical disc brakes on the front and back. As you can see there, it's got some nice beefy tires. They are 20 inch by four inch fat tires. So it does make riding on different types of terrains very easy. Anything from loose gravel, sand, snow, and uh, even city streets, they are actually quite good on that as well. We have a rear brake light and we also have a front headlight. Now it's just a standard light, so it's not super bright at night. If you're gonna be doing a lot of night riding, you may wanna pick up some third party lights for it. It is a Shimano seven speed. As you can see there, we have our LCD screen and it's fairly bright so you can see it on even bright sunny days. You can angle it so if you are getting a glare from the sun, that makes it a little bit easier to see. Now this part up here doesn't come with it. This is a GoPro mount. Um, I put that on there so I can get some footage. As you can see there, we do have front shocks that are adjustable so you can lock them if need be. We got a rear luggage rack and uh, it does come with this like elastic cord to help hold your gear on. But ideally you can get one of those bike bags. You know, they're actually quite handy. If you look at the front sprocket here, you can see it has this extra piece that helps prevent the chain from coming off and uh, things get caught in there. So that's actually a nice little feature. And of course there's the locking mechanism. And well, again, we'll take a look at that here in a second. Now, when it comes to pedaling, of course, you can use your gear shifter to help you pedal in different types of uh, elevations. Your throttle is right here. It's just a turn throttle. And there's seven levels of pedal assist. So if you just want a little bit of help, you leave it on level one. If you want a lot of help, then you can go all the way up to level seven. Now, as for top speed, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm a bigger guy too, so maybe I'm not hitting top speed. And I think in Canada here, e-bikes have to be governed to 20 miles per hour because that's the max I can get. And that's whether I'm using pedal assist or the throttle. Both ways I can get 20 miles per hour. But really 20 miles per hour on a bike is plenty fast enough. Now, as for range on this bike, if you're using pedal assist, they rate it at 60 miles. If you're using full electric and you're not doing any pedaling, they rate it at 35 to 40 miles. Now, of course, you're never gonna get 100% of that, and it's gonna depend a lot on your weight and the kind of terrain you're driving on. But I've been actually pretty pleased with the battery life. Yesterday, I went out, I think it was about a 24 kilometer ride, not miles, kilometers, 24 kilometers, and uh, I still came back with over half a battery, so I was pretty happy with that. Like I said, I'm a big guy, so it's using a lot of, uh, a lot of power. And this bike is rated for a weight capacity of 350 pounds. As you can see, it's a nice heavy duty frame. It seems really well built, so there's no issue there at all. And it does come in a couple different colors. I went with the yellow, but you can get it in white and you can also get it in like a bluey gray color. So that just all boils down to your personal preference. I thought the yellow looked pretty sharp and I think it makes it nice and visible as well. And a couple last quick little things here. Of course, the uh, seat is adjustable. As you can see, there's the adjustment. But the handlebar is also adjustable, so you can raise it up and down to whatever suits you the best. And lastly, it is a quick-release front wheel. So if you do want to remove it just for security, you can do that as well. Okay, so we're just out for a bike ride, and uh, hopefully the wind noise isn't going to be too bad because I don't have a microphone hooked up. See how it does. Yeah, we're on a path in the Pinery. It's called the Savannah Trail, and this is really their only um, 
bike trail that you can ride a bike on, except for the roads, obviously. So yeah, lots of uh, bike traffic. Everybody out enjoying the day. It's uh, pretty warm out today. 28 degrees with humidity. It's like 34, I think I read. Have to make sure we drink lots of water, stay hydrated. And yeah, we're just gonna go for a ride, check things out, uh, test out the new e bike. There we go, back on the trail. This time it's uh, beside the road. And I think up ahead here it actually turns into the road, so we're gonna be biking on the side. But it's not a very busy, uh, busy road, I should say. little river off to the side there. Somebody's canoe. So all in all I've really enjoyed the bike. It um, it's really powerful. I've had no problems with it. Right now I'm about 268 pounds and it gets me around with no issue at all. And uh, as mentioned, I'm on a summer long road trip. So having a foldable e-bike that I can put in the back of my car and take with me on some of my adventures, you know, is just really nice. So yeah, folks, that is the High Peak Bona Folding e-bike. They sell other e-bikes as well. If you want a more traditional e-bike, you can go and check out their website. I will include a link down below in the description. I think the price is coming in at about $11.49. It kind of goes on sale every once in a while, but it's a pretty good value for what you're getting. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one.